Hello and welcome to the Scientific Adventure of the Beard Man. Today we're going to be looking at a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com under the topic of waves and sound. It's called Rook Rockin' the Boat. Oh, there's a great song about that. If only I knew the tune well enough to risk singing it here. Anyways, um, Rockin' the Boat. So the idea of this is to be able to read a, def read a description and uh, be able to come up with a picture of what's going on and um, uh, some numbers to go along with it. You'll see as we go along. But let's start with some definitions here that will help us as we get those numbers. So first of all, wavelength is the first thing you're going to be asked for um, after you get the picture. Uh, and that is the distance between a point on a wave and that same point on the next wave. Uh, for this, just think, well, how far is it from one crest to the next? Okay, that'll be measured in meters. Next one is period, which is the amount of time it takes to complete one full cycle. How long does it take the wave, one wave to go by, or the wave to go up and down once? Speed is the rate at which distance is traveled. Or, and we're, when we talk about what is traveling, it's the energy that's traveling. So as a wave goes by, um, the energy is what's traveling. Remember, the particles don't go like this. The particles go in one place like this, and the energy travels through the medium. The speed can be calculated two ways, um, as we saw in the wave properties video. We can just do a distance divided by a time. And since uh, we have a distance in lambda, the wavelength, how long does it take for one wave to go by? That's the period. Um, and that's the equation that I'll use, is I'll do wavelength divided by period. Um, but you could also, since period is the inverse of the frequency, you could do um, lambda times f. Okay. Also, for speed, we often use, uh, we often, instead of using s, which makes sense for speed, we actually are talking about the velocity, so you'll usually see V written there. All right. Uh, next, we see the frequency. And the frequency is the number of cycles or the number of waves that occur each second. This is the inverse of the period. Okay, so remember, frequency equals 1 over T. Okay, if you aren't super familiar with this button on your calculator, there is a button you can do. You put in the number for the period and you push this button here and it'll just flip it. And it'll do the inverse of it and give you the answer. Um, wave height, that's a term we haven't used here on Scientific Adventures of Beard Man yet. Um, wave height is the vertical distance from crest to trough. Okay, so if we have a wave here, okay, our equilibrium point would be right here in the middle, okay, and so we have often talked about the amplitude, okay, which is this here, we're going to get to that definition next, but that's the amplitude, Okay, but this distance here from crest to trough, the vertical distance from crest to, crest to trough, that is wave height. I probably went over the next definition. Let's see if I did. Yep, sure enough. Amplitude. Amplitude is a measurement of the greatest displacement from equilibrium. So remember that could be here or it could be equilibrium to trough, either one. And notice that because crest to trough is our wave height, you'll be given the wave height in these problems and asked for the amplitude. The amplitude is just half of the wave height because the crest to equilibrium and equilibrium to trough is all that combined is the wave height. Um, and each of those will be the same. So half of the wave height will be the amplitude. All right. Let's take a look at um, uh, clear screen. There we go. Um, let's take a look at the first uh, apprentice level problem. Two boats are anchored in the harbor, separated by a horizontal distance of 24 meters. Okay, so keep that in mind. The boats bob up and down as waves enter the harbor. When one boat is at its highest point, 
The other is at its lowest point. So one's at the crest and one's at the trough. And there are no wave crests in between them. Okay, that's all we need for our picture. And that's going to be the first thing you have to figure out. You'll always see, I think it's always at the, the, the crest. The first one's always at the highest point. And here we have the first, we have the, uh, uh, the lowest point. And notice there's no crest in between. If it said one crest in between, well, then it would be over here. We'll get to that in the next example. Okay, so this is the situation. One boat's there, one boat's there. And remember, we already know they are 24 meters apart horizontally. Okay, all right. So then uh, let's keep reading this, make sure we understand everything else. Each boat makes exactly four complete up and down cycles. So four cycles every 12 seconds. Well, that's gonna help us get the period. We'll get to that in a moment. The vertical distance between the boat's highest and lowest position between crest and trough is 6.8 meters. That is the wave height. Complete the diagram showing where the second boat is located. We already did that. Then determine the wavelength in meters, the frequency in hertz, the period in seconds, and the amplitude in meters, and the speed in meters per second of the waves. And you'll get a little grid that looks something like this. So wavelength, let's figure out the wavelength. Let me change my pen color here. Uh, let's go purple, purple sounds like fun. So from one point on the wave, let's make that the actual crest to the crest here, that distance is the wavelength. And we can see that should be a Lambda. Um, and we can see that the 24 meters from crest to trough is half the distance of the wavelength. So if 24 meters is this, and we go another 24 to get to the next crest, that's a total of 48. So this one would be 48 meters would be the wavelength. Okay. Um, you'll have to do, depending on where these two boats are, you're going to have to do different things in different problems. But when they're right next to each other like that, you double it and it's the wavelength. Excuse me. I'm making this video a little too late. All right, um, hope I didn't cause you to yawn. Uh, so here's, here's our sentence that's gonna help us get the period. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll underline that when we get fuchsia. So each boat makes exactly four up and down cycles every 12 seconds. Okay, so well, we know the period is the number of seconds per cycle. So we put seconds over cycles and normally we don't write the cycles and we'll get three seconds per cycle the period is three seconds it's defined as per cycle okay um if if it, if it can go up and down four times in 12 seconds then it takes three seconds to go up and down once the vertical distance so here we now are moving on to uh the thing that's going to give us the amplitude, the vertical distance between the boat's highest and lowest position is 6.8 meters. Okay, so the wave height is 6.8 meters. Okay, and if we want the amplitude, remember the amplitude is from equilibrium. Whoa, that was not a pretty equilibrium. Um, let's erase that and try that again. See if I can be a little more accurate. Okay. And so half of the wave height, whether you're going up to the crest or going down to the trough, half of the wave height is the um, amplitude. So if 6.8 is the wave height, then 3.4 meters is the amplitude. Then uh, frequency, uh, actually, yeah, sure, we can do, well, let's do speed first. So now we've got a calculation to get speed. Speed equals distance, which in this case is lambda, divided by time, which in this case is the period. We take 48 meters divided by, 
three seconds. 48 divided by 3 gives you 16, and the units were meters per second. Um, and finally, we have frequency. Frequency is the inverse of the period, so 1 over t. t is, uh, in this case, 3 seconds, so we have 1 third per second, or 1 third of a hertz. Uh, it says to use at least two significant digits. So this would give you 0 0.33, repeating 3333, but we only need two digits here, so 0 0.33 hertz, because per second means hertz. So 0 0.33 hertz. All right, let's go through these a little bit more quickly on the next two levels. Um, so master level is next. Let me clear the screen here, and we'll start reading the problem. So two boards are anchored. Notice everything is the same. You'll get different distances here. Just happen to be using 24 again. Um, this time, one boat is at its highest point, and the other is at its lowest point, and there is one wave crest between them. So that would look like this. So lowest point, there's another crest. So that's the one that's in between them and then it's at its lowest point. So it's the lowest point with one crest in between them. Okay, so let's uh, figure out the wavelength here. So we know that this distance here is 24, and we want to find this distance. Well, we have Kind of, you could think of this as being broken up into three parts. One, two, sorry, one, two, and three. Okay, so going crest, going crest to trough, trough to crest, crest to trough. So the 24 meters is split up into eight, eight, and eight. So it goes eight and eight to get the whole wavelength. Okay, so that's 16 meters. And we don't actually have to write the meters because it is already written for us in parentheses there. Okay, so the other way to think of this is um, there are uh, one and a half waves here. From here to here is one and a half waves. So we, if we want to do a little formula, we could do... Uh, 24 meters for 1.5 waves will give us meters per wave, which is uh, which is the wavelength. Okay, which in this case is 16. All right, so if you want to do it kind of a more technical mathematical way, that's how you do it. But I think most of these are easy enough that you can kind of look at it and go, hey, this is 24. It's broken into three parts. That's going to be eight each part, and two, two of those parts is a one wave. All right, let's do period. So we have four up and downs every 16 seconds. Well, four up and downs every 16 seconds means each one takes four seconds. The speed is our meters, 16 meters divided by 4 seconds, which is 4 meters per second. Our frequency is just the inverse of the period. Frequency equals 1 over the period, which is 1 over 4 seconds. So that's 0.25 hertz. And finally, the amplitude we can see here that, once again, we have the same wave height, and so half of that is 3.4 meters. Okay, This number will be different in, in many of your problems, but you're still just dividing it by 2. All right, on to the next one. Clear screen. And on to the wizard level. Yes, all the levels look very similar. Yes, indeedy. Okay. Um, they do not all have the same numbers. I just used a lot of the same numbers um, because I want you to get used to using other numbers. So that's good practice. Um, 
All right, so where were we? I guess I already put that up. So when one boat is at its highest point, the other is its highest point. So notice the other two are both highest and lowest. You will have some that go highest and highest. And there are two wave crates between them. So one, two, and then the next highest point is where our uh, second ship is. Okay, so we see our distance here is 24 meters. We want to know this distance here. This time we can break it into full wavelengths. We see there are three full wavelengths in there. And so eight, or if you want a formula, lambda equals 24 meters. And that's, uh, that's the total distance. The number of waves is three waves. And so that's going to be eight meters. Okay, so let's get that and eight meters. The period two up and down cycles every 12 seconds. Uh, once again, right here, two every 12 seconds. That means one of them must have taken six. Okay, uh, speed. Remember, speed equals distance, in this case, lambda, divided by time, which is the period. And so that's 8 meters divided by 6 seconds, which gives us 1.3 repeating. So, and we need two significant digits, the 1 and the 3. I believe if you put the next 3 on also, it would still count it as being right. And that's in meters per second, which I keep forgetting it's written over here and I keep writing it in. But you'll just be typing in the numbers because the units are here. Frequency, frequency, as we've said, is the inverse of the period. Okay, so one over um, six seconds. So one over six seconds is one, is point, point one six repeating. And so the six rounds up to a seven. And that's measured in hertz or per second. And the amplitude, since I never did change this number, it's going to be the same thing. It's always half of the wave height. So the wave height is 6.8. So the amplitude is 3.4 meters. All right. Enjoy getting the opportunity here to uh, calculate the wavelength from the distance and a certain number of waves, the velocity from the wavelength and the period, the amplitude from the wave height and the frequency from the period. Um, uh, enjoy puzzling that out and uh, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and ask any questions you'd like down in the comments and we'll see you next time on the scientific adventures of Beardman.